Namaskar. Welcome to Government e Marketplace. In this module, we will be learning about payment process for PFMS payment method. Public Financial Management System or PFMS is a payment method used on Government e Marketplace. PFMS has been integrated with Government e Marketplace, allowing for seamless and automated payment processes. This integration ensures that financial transactions related to government A marketplace procurement are closely monitored and managed. Now, let us look into the buyer bill draft process. For any given contract or order, the buyer is responsible to draft the bill. To draft the bill, buyer will log in to gem.gov.in. Click here to log in. Now, enter the user ID and capture text. Click on Submit button. Enter your password and click on Submit to proceed. Once logged in, you will be redirected to your login page. Here, click on Dashboard to proceed. Now, click on Bills to view all the bills. Here, search for the required bill using the search filters provided. Once the required bill is available, click on Process Bill to proceed. All the details pertaining to the selected bill can be viewed here. Scroll down to add the deductions. Click on Yes to impose deduction and Add deduction to deduct multiple amounts. Buyer will be able to apply late delivery charges with all other deductions as shown below for product orders. For service order, buyer will be able to apply service non-delivery and SLA deductions. For offline payment as well, you can add the deductions as illustrated here. If deductions are not required, click on No. Click on Save Draft Bill. The system will give a prompt once the draft bill is saved successfully. Now let's look into the DDO payment process. The DDO will log into his government e marketplace account and head over to their dashboard. On the dashboard, click on Bills to proceed forward. After buyer drafts the bill, DDO generates the final bill and initiates the payment. Click on Process Bill to proceed. Scroll down to add the deductions. Click on Yes to impose further deductions, if any. Click on Edit Final Bill to make changes or select Submit Final Bill. To save and submit the final bill for processing, select Yes and click here to return the bill to buyer to upload the correct approvals. Now, click on Save Final Bill to proceed. Now, click on Verify and Pay to proceed. Here, enter the OTP and click on Verify OTP to proceed. The system would give a Initiating the Payment prompt. Once the payment is approved, the system would give a successful prompt. DDO can check the payment status of the bill by clicking here. In case payment is successful, bill will be marked as paid. In case bill payment is failed, DDO will have option to return the bill to buyer. Now, let's see the process of returning bills. DDO can return the bill to buyer if there are any corrections required in the financial approval. Select Yes and click here to return the bill to buyer to upload the correct approvals. Once DDO returns the bill, buyer will upload the correct financial approval. Click here to continue and upload the correct financial approval. You will be redirected to the order summary page. Scroll down to upload the financial approval. Now, click here to upload the relevant financial approval. Now, click here to save the draft bill and send back to DDO for payment. Moving further, let's look into unblocking funds. When funds are no longer needed for a specific transaction or procurement, the process of unblocking funds in PFMS involves releasing or returning these reserved funds to the available budget or fund pool. This ensures that the funds are not tied up unnecessarily and can be used for other purposes. Unblocking funds can be implemented in the following scenarios. 1. Bills are in terminal state. 2. Bills are in non-terminal state. Let's see the first scenario. Unblocking fund. Bills in terminal state. Option 1. From manage excess fund option on bill summary page. 
when the bill is marked as closed, Manage Excess Funds option is available to the user on the bill detail page to unblock the remaining balance. Click here to unblock the remaining balance. After clicking on the Manage Excess Funds option, the user will be redirected to Payment Release page and can unblock the remaining funds by clicking on the Release Remaining Funds option. The system will give a prompt on releasing excess funds successfully. Option 2. From Order Summary page. Users will get the Manage Budget option on Order Summary page. On clicking the button, user will be redirected to the Unblocking page. Click here to proceed. Click here to unblock. User has to upload the approved PDF file and click on Unblock Amount button to release the remaining fund. Users will get confirmation on successful unblocking of the fund. Now, let's see the second scenario. Unblocking fund. Bills not in terminal state. Users can unblock the fund at any stage of the order except for the condition that no bill should be in payment initiated state. For unblocking of the fund, users have to go to order detail page, order summary page. There they will get the manage budget option. Click here to proceed. Now, upload the approval PDF and click here to release the fund. Users will get confirmation on successful unblocking of the fund. Here are the key takeaways from this module. The DDO will process the bill after it is drafted by the buyer for PFMS payment mode. DDO can return the bill to buyer if there are any corrections required in the financial approval. Unblocking funds is a crucial financial management process that allows reserved funds, which are no longer required for a specific transaction or procurement, to be released or returned to the available budget or fund pool. Unblocking funds can be implemented in two primary scenarios, when bills are in a terminal state and when bills are in a non-terminal state. Here are the frequently asked questions. How can a buyer draft a bill? The buyer needs to log into his, her account and from the dashboard click on bills. The buyer will be able to view all the contracts. He, she can click on the particular contract and draft the bill for the same. The bill is drafted based on the CRAC, Consignee Receipt and Acceptance Certificate. If the payment mode is PFMS, who will be the payment authority? If the payment mode is PFMS, the primary user needs to register DDO as the payment authority. Who will process the bill after it is drafted by the buyer for PFMS payment mode? The DDO will process the bill after it is drafted by the buyer for PFMS payment mode. How can I change the payment mode? The primary users are authorized to change their payment mode. Once the primary user changes the payment mode, the payment mode will display to users that is buyers, DDOs etc. Thank you.